Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jung Lo, the owner of a Jung Lo Cage Fighting Series, going down November 12th in the heart of San Francisco, Keys Art Pavilion. We are three weeks out exactly to today. Right next to me, we have Francisco Ocampos, and um, we'll be fighting for an undefeated fighter against um, Juan Vidal. Vidal. And the winner of this fight will be fighting for the title winner on this upcoming event beside between Karen Sounder and Felix. So uh, it's gonna be a nice little build up right there. Now, how you been, Francisco? I've, I've been well, I've been well, doing good. How about yourself, man? Pretty good. Now, this is the fight you are moving down to 135 pounds. Correct. So Correct. how's the weight cut? Good, you know, um, I actually fought the last time in Stockton. I was 135 for that one as well. Same day weigh in. Yeah, same day weigh in. Yeah, correct. Oh, sure. Correct, correct. So uh, uh, I'm yeah. assuming the weigh in should be a problem. This, we got a day before the weigh in here. So, uh, how is your um, preparation for this upcoming fight? Uh, preparation is good. You know, we're just uh, working on the little things. We're watching some footage on Juan, seeing uh, what mistakes he makes, what we can capitalize on, you know, just, just taking it slowly, gradually. Now, the more fights that you have, the more people can study you, your homeworks and preparation. And as higher level comes in, strategy kicks in. Now, this will be the very first fight. You don't have to worry about shin guard. You're also fighting a three, three minute round. So the rounds are slightly longer. You can actually play out a lot more strategy versus than the two minute round, just kind of like, you know, start and go, you yeah, know? Right. So let's share a little bit with us. What's your preparation coming into this fight? You know, we're just uh, doing the longer rounds, obviously, training for three minute rounds, trying to get as much as possible so cardio won't be an issue. Um, other than that, we're just doing a lot of uh, preparing for the ground, you know, because I don't want to say he's a ground guy, but he's a purple belt. You know, I've seen a couple of his fights, even though he likes to stand, initially it always ends up on the ground. Right. Yeah, so we're just prepping for that, make sure there's no uh, issues when we get down to the ground. What do you think of his last fight? You probably go watching the last fight. Um, Sumar, he, right? What's yeah, it? against uh, uh, Sumit Paul. Yeah, so that, that was the fight. Sumit Paul was actually doing pretty good on the feet. He got caught with the guillotine, right? He did get caught with the guillotine, yeah. you know, obviously Brown is not quite like his exp you know, expertise. I'm sure he's working on it for his next upcoming fight. So when you're watching that fight, what do you see Juan's biggest hole for you to Exploit. capitalize? So um, Juan, you know what? It's funny because he's a, I'm a pretty aggressive fighter. I see the same in him. He's pretty aggressive, you know. I, I heard him talking about how he likes how I take those mm -hmm. steps forward, you know, and um, I can see he's really the same way. He got the a pretty heavy, heavy punch when he swings. Um, other than that, I feel like he likes to throw those punches into level changes, kind of use it to set up takedowns, you know? Go for the takedown. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he if he just stood it out three rounds and tried to bang it out with me. Like, who knows, we'll see, you know? The guy's right. kind of unpredictable. For you, the, the way how I see it, you're the kind of similar style like him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You keep pressure forward, you're going for a takedown, even though you don't really call yourself training in the Jiu Jitsu Academy, but you do have some submission and you do have a very good wrestling background. Do you wrestle in high school? Uh, no, actually, no. No? No, sir. So where did you get your wrestling at? Oh man, that backyard boogie, baby, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no we, train, we train right there at, um, at my Master Leong's Martial Arts. Um, you know, we have a lot of good guys that help us with the ground. Um, it's just, we're not really focused on the jujitsu aspect of it, we're more focused on the MMA grappling. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes the difference because these jujitsu guys, they're prepared to go roll around on the ground and do jujitsu stuff. You know, wrestlers, they're prepared to just lay there and hug you. Mm -hmm. When you're doing the MMA grab, then you're getting prepared for all aspects, you know? That's pretty awesome. Now, what do you walk around weight right now? Right now, I'm probably about 155, so I got like 20 pounds to lose, but it's not going to be an issue for me. That's awesome. Now, let's talk a little bit about the undercard main event, Karrion Sounder versus Felix. I know it's not your opponent but your guys kind of in the same kind of radar. I like to build these two fights, the winner of, you know, between you and Juan, and then versus the winner of Karen Sound versus Felix on the upcoming next event, beginning of the year. What's your thought of, on, on, on that matchup? Little man, Karen Sanders. Um, dude's good. I got nothing to say. You know, he's good. He's uh, undefeated, correct? Yes, he's 4-0. Yeah, undefeated, you know, he's obviously a good grappler. Um, I think that's gonna be a good matchup. I'm looking forward uh, to seeing what happens with that one. And if I could get past one, I would love to get in there with either of those gentlemen. That's pretty awesome. You know, well, you know, he's a Charles Gracie brown belt. He's been brown belt for a minute. It's, uh, it's a definitely a, stri a, a grappler and then slightly a little bit shorter than you physically. You know, so uh, I'm sure that 
you have a little bit more range, reach uh, 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 advantage on him. You know, if you do fight him, the Quan and you are very similar identical physique. You know what? I was looking at his um, interview and I was like, hey, it looks like he's around the same height. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys are almost like identical, five six, five yeah. seven, somewhere around there. Same height, same length, you know, and pretty much the same weight. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I asked him how much is weight. It's about 155, so that's pretty awesome. So I can't wait to watch this fight because I love to build up this story and then, um, you know, it, it's gonna be crazy. 135 is definitely really stacked. There's a lot of 135 in the bay. Now, beside of people right in front of you and the same event as you, do you have any other fighters that catch your radar that you wanna fight in the future? You know what? Um, I don't really have nobody in mind. I don't like how Caesar, the one who pulled out on my fight for your card, yeah. he's getting a title fight with Andrew Tosti in October this month. And I'm like, how the hell do you pull out from a fight and they give you a title shot? Like. I would love to fight um, that guy. Just I feel like we had some unfinished business. You know, I came to fight. I showed up. He didn't show up. I felt like that was I disrespectful. He, um, I think he pulled out of the last fight at a different show too. It's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Uh, well, you know, maybe uh, we'll see. Is actually going to happen or not? Yeah, right, right. right. We'll you, see. You really don't know, you know. Yeah. So sometimes uh, a lot of fighters, you know, before the fight, before they battle the the the, the, the day of the fight, they have to battle through their mindset too showing up the way first, you know, yeah. because there's a lot of obstacle you have to hop through it, you know, before you get to the day of the fight, you know. Now, if people want to get a hold of you, Francisco, to catch you and, and get tickets come watching you fight, how can people contact you? Yeah, you can hit me up on all of my social media platforms. That's going to be uh, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, Twitter, whatever you want to hit me up on. It's going to be Killshot95002. You can hit me up on Facebook if you want. That's going to be Francisco Campos. Um, you can go ahead and hit up my coach, contact him through Instagram. That's the Young Martial Arts. Uh, yeah. This is a really big fight. Um, your record is two and one, it's events to three and one, then you're going for the title. And uh, how much longer do you plan on to do amateur before you uh, you know, take the blue pill to turn pro? Yeah, you know, um, I do ask myself that a lot, obviously, but I want to get a couple straps first, I'm not gonna lie. You know, I, I don't want to rush into anything. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I want to. I feel like once you get those title fights, that's where your step up in competition really starts to rise. You know, you pretty you, much play, fighting the best what Bentham way in the bay. Exactly, and, and you need that if you want to take those steps to go pro. Do you ever think about yourself go down to twenty five? You know what? <laughs> I I have it to lose, but it hasn't crossed my mind. You know, it hasn't it hasn't been something that crossed my mind. But um, who knows? Maybe after a couple fights, thirty five. If I'm feeling like I could do it, maybe. But right now, I'm chilling at one thirty five. So walk around 55, 20 pound cut. Yeah. That's a good amount of weight. And then your height is actually like a medium size for a bantam weight because yeah. I see some bantam weights that are like oh, yeah. five, three, five, four. And I also see some bantam mm -hmm. weights like five, 10, five, 11. Mm -hmm. So it, it kind of varies, you know? Correct. So correct. now do you have any special loved one, training partner, supporter, um, sponsors that you want to shout out to for this upcoming fight? You know, shout out to my guys, Forever and Monument, helping me with the drip. A uh, big shout out to Dream Mills for getting me ready with that food. My man, Sticker Kings, appreciate y'all. Shout out to my family, friends, Master Ron Leong, all my training partners, everybody that's been helping me get ready. I appreciate y'all. All right, that sounds good. Did you watch the UFC fight today? I was at work. Ah, but I checked Instagram and I'm, I'm mind blind. I did not think that Oliver was going to get tapped out. <laughs> I mean, shit. I, my jaw just dropped when I saw that fight and I uh, watching um, Sean O'Malley's fight. I did think Peter Young took win that fight. I mean, you know, but yeah. shit, that's one thing about you. Let your decision hey, to the judges. I was going to say, don't leave it to the judges. Yeah, man. you know, I'm like, what the hell did they see? Like, mm -hmm. clearly he kind of uh, dominating the takedown, the control time, even they break it down on the analysts. How the hell Sean won that fight? I'm like, well, you know, like that's you said, don't let it, don't leave it to the judges' hands. Like one's fight, let's see, what does he have? Two, two unanimous decisions. Yeah, that looks like the judges like you, man. I can't let it go to decision. I'm gonna have to take you out, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. So now, for more information about this upcoming event fight card, please check out DragonHouseMMA.com. This is this event's live stream pay per view nationwide. So you guys can make it to the event, making sure you guys order your live stream pay per view on DragonHouseMMA.com. And then uh, subscribe my YouTube channel, uh, give it a like, and then make comments on my video. And um, if your opponent, Quan Vidal's watching this interview, what do you have to say to him? Dude, 
The guy's such a fucking nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching his interview. I, I got nothing bad to say about the guy, man. He's a good guy, you know. Um, it's gonna be fun, bro. You know, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna bang it out. We're gonna have a couple war shiners and shit, but it's, it's gonna be cool, man. Train hard, and I'll see you November 12th, boy. Why? Right, that's a pretty awesome. Here we go. Classic act, and then we'll see you guys on November 12th. And once again, I'm John Low signing out, and right next to me, we have Francisco Ocampos. Right, see you, see you guys on November 12th. Signing out.